Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLTF Tech channel and today we are going to talk about SharePoint web application and site selection structure. As you all know that Microsoft SharePoint is a document management center in which you can store millions of documents provided that your structure is uh, well planned and uh, it follows all the recommended procedures as decided as uh, recommended by uh, Microsoft. So uh, this video will cover that detailed uh, illustrations. So let's start. First of all, uh, to understand this video clearly, you must have a better understanding of all these terminologies and you must have on hand uh, practice or uh, on hand experience of your SharePoint uh, on premise environment. First of all, SharePoint central administration, which is a central uh, platform through which you can create web applications, you can create site collections, you can interact with the content databases and same for everything else. You must be uh, familiar with SharePoint web application. Uh, SharePoint content databases as you all know that SharePoint uh, create its own content databases and manages them uh, through itself it doesn't uh, recommend uh, the end user to interact directly with that uh, content databases all you have to uh, uh, interact is with the front-end applications through either SharePoint central admin or management shell now the next thing uh, you must be familiar with SharePoint site collections SharePoint list and document libraries and uh, SharePoint sites and content databases size limit. We will discuss them in uh, upcoming slides. Now the problem scenario is that uh, whenever you design a new solution, uh, a new form for your organization, after uh, the, your form becomes uh, live and user start storing their data, you come to realize after uh, a period of time that uh, your application is hanging or giving slow response then you uh, study uh, different uh, material available on the internet and then you come to realize that you have designed you have actually don't consider uh, uh, optimal design uh, methodologies while creating your uh, site collection and web applications so the problem is that first of all whenever you create a sharepoint web application uh, then you uh, by default a content database has been created now uh, this content database microsoft recommends the size limit of this content database to limit up to 200 gb you can increase uh, the content database uh, size limit uh, from 200 gb to uh, maximum 300 gb 400 gb or even 500 gb but uh, as soon as you increase the data size from 200 gb uh, to any value above that uh, you have to pay the cost of performance okay you are increasing the size at the cost of the performance if i talk about my practical experience up till 500 gb i don't think so that the performance that is degrading gradually uh, gives you much imp uh, effect uh, to the end user but if you in continue increasing the size of this content database to 1 tb even then there is a point to uh, worry about okay let me uh, further illustrate you now uh, whenever you create a new site collection uh, one site collection has may have sub sites it may have less it may have document libraries collectively we, we can say that the site collection is created on this content db and all the sub sites document libraries and lists which are increasing whose data is increasing with respect to time gradually is uh, ultimately increasing the size limit uh, is ultimately increasing the size of content db now you create one more site collection in same content db in uh, now uh, the data that is being used in that site collection is also being stored in the same content db and ultimately you reaches to uh, n number of sites collection in that content db and all the data is being saved on same content db now what is happening the content db size limit is reaching or exceeding you are unaware of this scenario that content database size is to be limit in order to uh, maintain the optimal performance that purpose now uh, if we talk about the site collection limits per content database then the limit is 5000 it means that you can create 5000 site collections in one content database but they, uh, this limit is also subject to the limit of the data size that is 200 GB okay that is to be understand uh, that is to be understand in a clear concept 
at uh, 2000 site collections the system will warn you that your site collections per content databases are increasing to a threshold and you are uh, increasing your site collections but ideally if we talk about content dbs if your site collections have very minimal data it don't have any documents it only have some sites that are telling uh, some information then this uh, scenario is uh, perfect but if your site collections contains a lot of data it means that if site collection 1 contains 50 gb data the site collection 2 contains 500 gb data and site collection n contains uh, let's say 200 gb data so the overall data size that is ultimately being saved on that content database is, has been increased from this limit ultimately all the site response will gradually become slow and the time will come that at uh, your users will start complaining the hanging of the application we are coming towards the solution in order to make a reliable optimal robust and long lasting uh, architecture of your sharepoint sites you have to adopt two solutions either uh, first of all we will talk about the first recommended solution in which this is a sharepoint web application uh, this is a content this is the first content database with a size limit of 200 gb that is already defined by microsoft now you will create a site collection one in that content database for uh, now you will uh, estimate uh, try to calculate that how much time will it take to reach 200 gb alternatively what you will do you will create a new content database and a new site collection will be created or uh, di uh, directed uh, or uh, created on that content database so that all the data of site collection is saved on content db1 and all the data of site collection 2 will save on the content uh, database 2 and same for every site collection and number of site collections okay so it will uh, since you have uh, created multiple content database now uh, in this case the 200 gb limit will reach uh, slowly okay it will not reach so rapidly as it was discussed in the previous case now the limit is 5000 gb warning is 2000 uh, that limit uh, will be sufficient we are not going for uh, multiple site collection one content database now as soon as a data limit reaches in content db now the problem is that the data limit that you have defined regardless of this limit you have uh, defined a criteria that you will uh, maintain the size limit up to 400 gb uh, for example or 500 gb max after that you will not uh, overload that content db so what you will do you will <coughs> define the limit here on reaching the limit what you will do uh, you will create a new content db a new content db will be created and a new site collection uh, template from this template you will create a new site collection of the users without data and this site collection will go in the read mode only okay now the data will be uh, write read write on secondary site collection and a secondary content db and this content db along with this site collection will become read only you will make this site collection read only uh, we can say that if this site collection is read only the content db is read only now in this way you can uh, create multiple site collections multiple content database the limit of the number of content database is not defined actually you can maintain ma many content database per uh, database server okay i think this scenario is clear now going towards the recommended solution too sorry let me i have only copy pasted not edited right now uh, recommended solution two the recommended solution two is that uh, same you are creating multiple content databases and for each content databases you are creating uh, or uh, directing one site collection per content database now the limit is same what you will do as soon as the data limit reaches in content database you will define content database limit at sql db level now this recommended solution is being done the previous recommended solution was being done on sharepoint level uh, through sharepoint central admin this solution is being carried out or executed at database level by your database administrator of your organization he will define the content db limit mdf file limits at sql db level and on reaching the limit he will define that the mdf file that is a primary file will be split into uh, secondary file secondary files each uh, multiple uh, secondary files will be created and each file will occupy a uh, 
data limit of uh, 200 or 500 GB or 300 GB, whatever you have decided. Uh, on reaching that limit, your multiple MDF files will be uh, splitted and will maintain this limit. Okay. So at data at SharePoint level, it will be a one content database, but at SQL level, it will be splitted into multiple MDF files and it will be managed by the SQL server itself. Okay. So in this way, you can uh, perform a recommended solution too as well. This solution is basically recommended whenever uh, you are planning to uh, change the architecture after you have faced that problem. You were not aware of this problem and uh, when the users reported you that the application is being hanged and the data uh, access is so slow that you uh, uh, troubleshoot the issue and you come to, uh, 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 to uh, diagnose that your uh, content database size limit has been increased to into TBs. Now this is the time that you will uh, adopt the recommended solution too. But if you are designing a new solution and you are already aware of this scenario, uh, you will, uh, I recommend you to go towards the recommended solution one that we have already discussed in the previous slide. So this was all about and this video, uh, the content of this DB uh, of this video is not uh, available commonly on uh, internet. I think so. These all are the things that are experienced through your practical uh, interaction or manifestation with the systems whenever you face such challenges. So uh, I wish you good luck for a better SharePoint uh, developers, administrators uh, through accessing and understanding these videos and uh, new viewers please join my channel and enjoy watching more videos. I thank you all.